What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Amateur Hour TV for another video on the second channel for Amateur Hour. On this channel, I like to go through additional NBA related topics, especially concerning the Toronto Raptors that I just do not have enough time to get to on my main channel, Amateur Hour Sports, with 11,000 subscribers already. Go check that one out if you haven't done so already. But on this channel, it's just stuff like I, I have so much stuff I want to talk about. I can't get it out all on there, so we use Amateur Hour TV instead. This is a great opportunity to do that. With the video talking about Kyle Lowry almost bringing Vince Carter back to the Raptors. But if you find yourself enjoying this video, be sure to drop a like to help support the channel. And make sure you're subscribed. You can help us on a road to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for helping this channel hit 1,000 already. But like I said, apparently Vince Carter almost returned to the Toronto Raptors. I mean, what a story that would have been if Vince Carter actually returned to the Toronto Raptors. And apparently it was the greatest Raptor of all time. Kyle Lowry, who tried to facilitate Vince coming back to the team, and they both had a conversation. I believe it was on Vince Carter's podcast or his show. He had Kyle Lowry as a guest, and it was a very good clip showcasing this aspect that we're going to take a look at right here. I'll say this, and I don't know if anybody have noticed besides the people that I tried to get Vince back with us at one point. I wanted Vince, and I was trying. You know, we had conversation. We, we 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 tried to get it done. It didn't work out. Business, you know, didn't happen. You know, some you know whatever happened, and it didn't work out. But I was like one of the biggest advocates to try to get him back in Toronto, and Vince was all in. So any people that think Vince wasn't all in coming back to Toronto is bogus. He would. He was. We was working on trying to get that done. Now, just so everyone knows. We were trying to get that done, and we'll keep, you know, like I said, business is business. So how interesting is that, that Vince Carter almost returned to the Toronto Raptors? So what I kind of wanted to discuss as a result of all this stuff, I wanted to discuss how this city would probably receive Vince Carter because it was pretty ugly when he left the team originally. We would discuss his fit with the team at the time, what sort of role he would have played, and maybe try to piece together what timing was this was Vince Carter going to come here maybe this season the Raptors went on to win a championship could Vince Carter have won his only his only ring in his NBA career could he have done that with the Toronto Raptors so for starters let's talk about how the fans would have received him so obviously Vince Carter left the Toronto Raptors let's check just double check he left the Raptors in the 2004-2005 season he left near the end of that season to join or near the start of that season rather to join the New Jersey Nets because the Raptors had typically struggled to put the right pieces around him to make themselves a real NBA champion sort of threat. There was that game seven against the Philadelphia 76ers in the second round where he misses the buzzer beat that would have gotten us to the conference finals. I'm not sure the Raptors would have won the championship had they won that game. In fact, I would suggest that they probably wouldn't have done that in 2001 because the Lakers were, Lakers were the Lakers. They had Kobe, they had Shaq, both of whom pretty much in their prime. So... Regardless, the Raptors just didn't do a good enough job at winning consistently. Now, Vince Carter probably didn't help that fact with his mood with Toronto at that point in time. But this is a player like an absolute worldwide superstar. One of the biggest names in the NBA at the time who wanted to have a better shot at winning a championship. I can't really fault that. I know fans just always going to be upset when a player leaves their current team and tries to get, you know, go to a different team. The same thing happened with Chris Bosh when he left the Raptors, even though like, Management failed to put a good team around him consistently. So, of course, he was going to leave. Similar for Vince Carter. Maybe not quite the same scenario. But regardless, we're always going to be mad. Fans, I mean, they let Vince Carter have it. When he returned to Toronto, they absolutely let him have it. Everybody was so pissed off. Everybody was so upset. But he eventually come around to these guys. You know, when Vince Carter started returning to Toronto later on in his career... There were cheers. There were no boos. People were cheering Vince Carter because they acknowledged what he did for the city of Toronto. And that really cannot be understated. Look at the fate of you know, the Vancouver Grizzlies, who were founded in the same season as the Toronto Raptors ahead of the 1995 season. And Vancouver, after like six years, had to move to Memphis. There was just no fan base there. There was nobody going to the games. And the fate of Toronto as a basketball franchise could have been the same had it not been for the superstar that we got at the draft. Now, fun little fact, the Raptors actually didn't draft Vince Carter. They drafted Anton Jameson and then traded Anton Jameson right after that pick for Vince Carter, even though they went one pick after another because they wanted to pay Vince Carter less money and get him fifth overall. So they took Anton Jameson fourth overall, traded him for the fifth overall Vince Carter, selected by the Golden State Warriors. 
So they could pay Vince Carter a little bit less money. That trade kind of still a little bit weird to me. But anyways, fun little fact there. They pretty much drafted him, and he rose to superstardom immediately. I mean, his high-flying dunks, the dunk contest, even players like Kevin Durant were fans of the Raptors when they were young because he loved watching Vince Carter. Vince Carter was, seemingly was his favorite player. So a huge name in the history of the Toronto Raptors, no doubt. And it would have been really cool to see uh, maybe, maybe like for a lack of better term, retirement tour, but the return to the Raptors. So what would that have returned actually looked like? It would have been cool for the fans. I think there would have been a lot of Vince Carter jersey sales. Uh, that's for sure if he came back to the Raptors. But what would that have looked like at this point in his career? So obviously, let's take a look at the kind of the career numbers here for Vince Carter. Excellent numbers with the Raptors. Maybe even kicked on just a, a tad bit more with the New Jersey Nets where uh, he just never really got a good shot there. I mean an all-star for a couple seasons after he left the Toronto Raptors. But as it comes to the New Jersey Nets, they never really got that close. They never got to an NBA Finals with Vince Carter. I'm not sure they even got to a conference finals. I could be incorrect about that. But they never got to a finals. And they did get to one without him, which is kind of strange. They added him in, but they were kind of falling off at the time. Regardless, after the New Jersey Nets... He became less effective year after year. I mean, that just comes with age. But this guy loved playing basketball. He just wanted to continue to play basketball and wanted to be a part of it. So went to Orlando, still had a pretty big role there. But after Orlando, when he went to Dallas, started to embrace more of a, not necessarily a role player, but started to embrace that bench role, started to understand exactly who he was as a player, what he could still offer in the NBA, what he couldn't offer in the NBA. And you don't see many players do that. You don't see many players who would, you know, were this superstar perennial all-star type player. You don't see them get to this point where they're still like happy being in the NBA, but Vince Carter was that. So let's try to piece together exactly when Kyle Lowry probably was suggesting that, you know, trying to get him coming back to the Raptors. Maybe Vince Carter himself wanted to do it, just business is business, apparently. It didn't quite happen. So let's look here. So we've got the Dallas era. Dallas were really good at this time. Uh, he just missed out on winning a championship with them. <laughs> a little bit funny. He's always kind of missing out on those championships. I mean, maybe not funny. But uh, I guess funny in the sense that he left the Raptors in seeking one and didn't actually win one. The Raptors eventually got one. Anyways, not start to Vince Carter hate for leaving. Um <laughs> With Dallas, there were some good moments. There was that buzzer beater in the playoffs. I think it was against the Spurs, that like like fadeaway corner three. Uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I would look it up and cool shot. You should go check that out. But probably wouldn't have been in this era. Probably was more so in this era as he was kind of fading off and he was comfortable doing that. In this Memphis area is likely where I see it. But, you know, we have to analyze. Kyle Lowry air started around here. And then when is Kyle Lowry going to get the pull to actually try to make these sort of maneuvers happen maybe the Raptors weren't interested in the player I'm thinking it's around this era here like 2017 2018 era where they tried to make that happen just try to bring him back to have that sort of role that team would have been nice to have that sort of veteran presence as the Raptors were kind of seeking that championship now I know Vince Carter never won a championship but it would have been kind of cool to see that veteran sort of presence from Vince Carter when the Raptors were trying to seek out that first championship and maybe that's that veteran mindset somebody who had, you know, tried and not succeeded a bunch of time. Maybe just that, you know, the, the hardships he went through. That could have helped rejuvenate the Toronto Raptors at the time, dealing with the LeBronto era where, like, I mean, I don't need to talk about the LeBronto era. Everybody knows everything about LeBron James facing off against the, the Raptors. So, ultimately, the Raptors were really good at that time. They were really, really good at that time. So, I find it unlikely Vince Carter would have had any sort of role. And as Kyle Lowry speaks, you know, business is business. Kyle Lowry was trying to get him to come to Toronto. Apparently, Vince Carter, as you saw in that video, that clip there, was open to returning to the Raptors. I would, I would unfortunately say that the likeliest thing that happened here was Raptors management may have just said there's not really a spot for him on this team. Because again, we were a good team. Maybe it would have been nice to have something like that. But the Raptors... They prioritize like youth. They prioritize development. Bringing in like a 39, 40, 41 year old Vince Carter wouldn't have kind of fit that dynamic. Maybe it just would have been nice, but ultimately, the way that the way it all played out, the, tra the trajectory of our franchise as it happened, got us to the penultimate prize, the 2019 NBA championship. Got the banner just over uh, my shoulder over here, as you see. Um, you know, maybe Vince Carter could have been a part of that. Maybe not. I mean, there were quite a few forgettable names on that team, like 
I mean, I remember him. I remember everybody on that team. Like, you've got guys like, you know, Jordan Lloyd, Eric Moreland, Malcolm Miller, guys who didn't really affect the team, Jody Meeks as well. But regardless, uh, Vince Car- I don't want to slight those guys. Hey, they were, they were part of the championship team. They earned their rings. So, you know, shout out to them. Shout out Jeremy Lin as well. Um, <laughs> so maybe there was a spot, but ultimately it didn't quite materialize. Um, you know, maybe it would have been nice to just have that, you know, have Vince Carter come back maybe make a better name for himself in Toronto. There's probably people who still hate him to this day for leaving Toronto originally, but you know, I can understand players doing that. I can understand players looking for brighter pastures somewhere else, especially as they're entering their prime and just kind of seeing that the team they're currently on just isn't really going anywhere. So, you know, shout out Vince. I, I spoke about earlier in the video how much he did for the city of Toronto, man. Maybe, maybe the franchise, the Raptors doesn't exist without Vince Carter going to the Raptors out, out of the NBA draft that year. So, um, important figure in the history of the Raptors. Maybe would have been cool to have him back, but ultimately didn't happen. But I think everybody's comfortable with the relationship between Vince and the Raptors in 2022. I think the relationship has been mostly amended, like 95%. We've forgiven. We've we've not forgotten, but we've definitely forgiven Vince Carter. Understand the impact he had on basketball. But that is it for today on Amateur Art TV. Please, if you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. It does go a long way to supporting the channel because when you drop a like on the video, it sends that message to YouTube that people want to see this video. Therefore, it's recommended to more people with similar interest to you. It takes you a second to like the video, but it does help me out a bunch. And make sure for extra NBA and Raptors content that I just can't get to my main channel, Amateur Sports, you subscribe to this one as well. We just hit 1,000 subs, but... We want to keep pushing. Let's get to 2,000 subs. I love making content on this channel. It lets me be a little bit more myself. I, I, I kind of give like, as much as it's called Amateur Hour, I feel like I give a pretty professional vibe on my main channel. This channel is a lot more of me. Me being me. Me, you know, just talking about things I want to talk about. I don't stress over viewership. I don't stress over all that. I just talk about what I want to talk about. I'm creative with the titles. I can just do things I wouldn't normally do and try things out. And uh, that's awesome. The fact that there's people, you know, like yourself watching this video and not clicking off before I go through all this stuff, that means a lot to me. So thanks so much, guys. And uh, thank you for everything you've blessed me with, with Amateur Hour Productions, we'll call it. So thanks again. We'll see you again next time for another video on Amateur Hour TV.